Hey guys, Bolchity here. We're here for Doki Doki Literature Club Part 5, I, I believe. So. one year again don't worry I just walked in too were you practicing piano again yeah you just have a lot of determination sharing starting this club and now you're picking up piano well maybe not a lot of determination but I guess passion remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you at all I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. I can't wait for the festival. It's going to be a great. Weren't you complaining about it yesterday? And I said, well, yeah, I'm not talking about our part of the festival, but it's a whole day of uh, the school where all we get to do is play, eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden, Monica. They usually have a fried squid. Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like... S sorry. I'm sorry. You don't like squid? You of all people. I eh, I didn't say, say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Monica. <laughs> the crickets are chirping. That's a key. The crickets. That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. And never mind. That just focus on our <laughs> old Vin staff. She's so lit down by her joke and I'm hitting, oh. Fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as yours and Sayori's anyways. Excuse me? Where is Sayori anyway? Uh, there you are. Hey, Sayori. Depression. Depression is becoming very, very open. You're spacing out again. Eh, sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Yo, I got a lot of stuff to worry about after this. Uh, how are you doing? Don't care. Um, is everything all right? course why wouldn't it be it just feel like you're all a little off sorry for assuming things geez you worry too much about me I'm fine see don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone well all right if you say so well what's up 
Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything about Sayori recently? Anything about up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading it a little into this, but it seems a little downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Maybe there's something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the only one. I'm not the one asking you, Bolt. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's really never liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time, when I asked her, she really seemed dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask you if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, so, you know... Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Are you sure about that? She seems like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she's just a hard time bringing it up with a person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that sometimes the, the thing on her mind is you bolt. Me? Um, why on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably wouldn't say too much, but... So everything talks about you more than you than anything else, you know? <sighs> She's been so much be happier e ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light has turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sayori's always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any difference now that I've always been her. You're so funny, Bolt. Have you thought that maybe you're always seen her as so cheerful because that's why how she is around you? I said too much, I'm sorry, but what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so don't try to think about it for now. Alright. Hey you. Are you just gonna sit there and keep staring at nothing? There isn't that much time, so... Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to make you worry or anything. It's not like that I worry, I just... Oh, that, that's right, sorry. Just came out for... Came up for a minute. Something just came up for a minute, but we can start now. I won't make you wait any longer. Now you're making me feel like a jerk. If something's bothering you, then you should just tell me to leave you alone, and I will. I mean, I'm assuming you didn't feel like talking about it or anything. I'm probably making it seem a little like a bigger deal than it is. I'm just th thinking say about Sayori, that's all. Sayori, thinking about her. Well, she seems pretty down today, but she didn't want to admit to me. So I can't help but wonder if she something has happened to her. Oh. Well, first of all, you should really work on your phrasing. But anyway, you're be her best friend, right? I guess so. Yeah, in that case, I think you should trust her a little bit more. If she's needed you for for would be the first person she would go to, right? Well, I guess that's true. I mean, some people just don't have those have those days. That I can't. Well, you can't always avoid them. If anything, she probably doesn't want you to worry about her because it's not an important thing. That's kind of what she said to me. Maybe it's not right for me to go against her wishes exactly if she needs you to worry about her then it'll be just a lot more obvious <sighs> yeah I guess I should have thought about it that way from the start she she really means a lot to you doesn't she uh, I don't get the whole wrong idea or anything but we've been friends for a long time it's normal to be worried about your friends I mean you're worried about me so I was not if you're if you're fine, then that, let's hurry and let's get started. All right? Yeah, yeah. All right, everyone. After some time passes, okay. Uh, why don't we share our poems now? So I don't even get a special. I don't even get a special thing with Sayor uh, Natsuki this time around. I mean, I guess that conversation was Natsuki enclosed, but. Uh, let's go ahead and double check on Sayori. So basically it goes, 
So you worry Natsuki, Yuri, and then Monica. No matter what. It's nice, I guess. Uh, uh, come on, I've already told you you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Natsuki. I didn't mean... I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. It's not that really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends. I just, I was just hoping. Um, that makes me feel really happy. You're happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Bolt. Sayuri, is there something wrong? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. Alright. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist... I want to go home a little bit early today. Sayori, tell Mon Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. I don't even get to see your poem. Which probably mean, has like a huge bunch of depression. Uh, I mean, this is also the weekend. Oh boy, she doesn't even... <laughs> we have to still go over the um, stuff for the decorations and stuff. Let's see, let's see. You're certainly enthusiastic today. Of course. You know, I like your writing. I'm just surprised. I feel like you had a lot of troubling admitting that before. Well, well, of course. I just had to put it in your, in your place a little bit. It's not like, I mean, it's not like I, I'm shy or anything stupid like that. Or jealous. I really wasn't jealous. I just, because you happen to be a good writer. That's a much dumb thing just to be jealous about. Nasty. What? You're not really confident about your writing, are you? What are you talking about? The writing is obviously the best, right? Right, Bolt. Please tell me you're, you like my poems. I don't care if you hate them. Please tell me I'm, I'm the best. I just, I just really need to hear that from someone I know. I sound stupid, but there's a reason I never shared my poems before this. Natsuki, because, because nobody ever takes me seriously. What's the point in sharing my poems if people keep laughing and say, that's cute, just like you, Natsuki. <laughs> but no one understands that. I try really hard when I write. The style, that, the style doesn't matter. The emotions are there. Why can't any, anyone see that? I just want... Natsuki, if you're not careful, you'll rip your own poem. Don't read it before I... Uh, it's not any good. I know you hate my poems, so don't have to read this one, okay? But I want to read it. Why? Because I like your poems. I really do. But why would I judge you for your style? It's not like in my own style is anything crazy. I mean, it's true that the first time I read one of your poems, I don't... I didn't look too much into it. But I know you're better now. And it's we're wrong for Yuri to think your style is more than amateur than hers. And say Yuri, she's always means well. And sometimes I, it, she's focused on simple happiness that she doesn't understand what people really want. Yeah, I guess I really thought about how hard it was for you. I'm sorry if I uh, if, if I was the part of the that prom. I understand now. You're not just cute. You're also a lot more than that. That's you doing it. Son. Wait, I got, I, I got to finish that. What does it say? Natsuki, you're doing it again. Okay, so she's cleansing. She's about to rip her poem. You can read it. Just, just turn that way. I don't really want you to look at me right now. Okay, I will. Because you tomorrow will be brighter with me around. But when today is dim, I can only look down my. My own looking at a little bit more forward because you look at me. When I want to say something, I say it with a shout. But my truest feelings can never come out. My words are a little less empty because you listen to me. When something is about above me, I reach for the stars. When it when I feel small, I don't get very far. My standing is a little bit t taller because you sit sit with me. I believe in myself with all my heart. But what do I do? Uh, when, I, when it's torn all apart, my faith is a little bit stronger because you trusted me. My pen always puts my feelings to the test. I'm not a good writer, but my test is my, my best is my best. My poems are a little bit dearer 
because you think of me, because of you, because of you, because of you. This is her feelings for MC starting. Why are you looking at me like that? If you don't like it, then just say it. I, I won't get mad. No, it's not like that. I don't like it. It's just a little surprising to read. I guess it's not the... I'm not used to hearing such nice things coming from you. Don't say that, dummy. What do you mean? What do you think? The point of the poem is expressing things that you can't say, just say. Yeah, I understand. I'm sorry for missing the point sometimes. I always mean well. And I'm happy that you sh showed me this. I liked it. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm a pro, so. <laughs> Puts her stuff down and calls herself a pro. Just, just remember that I can think these things sometimes, too. You know, when you're nice to me, it's just meaningful. I'm glad. <laughs> I don't want it. Why not? I just don't. Well, in that case, I'll go. I'm going to keep it good. If you don't, if you didn't, I would. Never mind. I'm just glad that you want it. That's all for now. So, go put it away before someone sees it, okay? Yeah, I'll go do that. Okay, so I think that was supposed to be a me poem. So I don't think there's going to be anything else. Okay. So, she's keeping to herself. I don't know if I'm remembering this correct. I think Yuri wasn't that self-contained last time. Hi, Bulls. Have you thought about you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, I have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'll, I'll sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. Anyway, let's have a look at today's poem. Sure. Sticking with Natsuki's style once again. Once more, I see. You really like Natsuki, don't you? That's... Oh, come on, Bolt. It's awfully suspicious, you know. Spending time with her in the classroom every day. Pretending to like Monica that she's into. You know how Natsuki is. If I don't indulge her, she'll end up hating me. No, I like your misunderstanding. I think you're misunderstanding, Bolt. It's not like Natsuki has, just hates anyone who doesn't give her what she wants. Yeah, she's assertive, but she's not that selfish. And I just clicked double quick. Yeah, she's assertive, but okay. In fact, I think you're the only one she's indulged her as much as you have. Is that so? So, I just won't need to ask one more thing of you. Be careful, please. Natsuki is unpredictable. A lot of times, she doesn't even know what she wants. After all, she's the youngest one here. She might not know how to handle her own emotions properly. What I'm saying is, if something bad happens, then it could end up damaging the club too. And if you wouldn't, wouldn't do, do that to me, right? That's... Well, you're smart. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Alright. The lady who knows everything. So another wall breaker. An old tell tale tells a lady who want who wonders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all of our ever salt. And here I am, a feather, lost amid the sky. Well, a raft. Had raft the sky. Victim of the currents of the wind. After day after day, I search. I search with a little hope, knowing legends don't exist. And when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is that I remain, that remains, the last dim star glimmering in the uh, t twilight sky. Until one day, the mid, the mind ceases to blow, or the wind ceases to blow, I fall, and I fall, and I fall, and fall even more, gentle as a feather, as a dry quill, a expressless, uh, expressionless, with a hand catches me between thumbs of forefinger, a thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I'm looking, I'm thinking. Before I can speak, she re responds in a hollow voice. 
I have found every answer, all to which are amount to nothing. There is nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we, we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat and pick me pick, and I pick up a gust of wind. You know, I feel like le learning and looking for answers for all sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too physio physiological or anything, but if I kind of, if it was kind of my mind, um, so that's what I wrote really out to see. I, re I never really put much thought into it. In a way, I'm almost uh, paradoxical. I'm so tired. Uh, we'll probably end this one in, two, in about five minutes. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. I'm sick that everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are mo more sad than happy. Are you surprised? I mean, everything was was okay. We wouldn't have anything to write about, would we? Humans are, aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. You, be, you mean one dimensional? Ah, uh, yeah, that. Breaking the fourth wall again, I see. Johnny, Johnny, are you breaking the fourth wall again? No, sir. No, sir. I think you are, boy. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your poem thing because you're afraid it's not the, that good? It's really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something that you put so much into. But if you find other people that enjoy your writing, then sharing it because it's a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you what your writing is good, or okay, or bad, I'll want to focus more on what everything that went into it and things you can work on. It's mo much more encouraging that way. It will make you want to continue improving. It also almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, your turn. You're th you three. All done sharing poems, right? Don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Something did seem a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri is uh, immu immune to it. S stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. It seems you're right. Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she went, went to pee. Natsuki, please show some de decency. Oh, come on. She actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the time not to go home with her, with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no? First of all, not misunderstanding my friendship with... First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Who? Oh? That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier. She, everything's fine. What did she say? Any, anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations. Oh, boy. For the weekend. All right. You know what I'm doing. I already know what I'm doing. That, that's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. We might need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself? That's the challenge accepted. And as for my shelf, I'm going to be printing assembling all the uh, poetry pamphlets. Uh, Natsuki, w uh, Sayuri will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, Yuri, you can, uh, guys, can you help me figure out something for Yuri? I am useless. No, no, no. That's not at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. 
N- Natsuki's pounding too. Even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayuri enough credit, but I can tell things are are even harder on you when she's not around. That might be the case, but if I can't have a leader of my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Sayuri, I mean Sayuri, you have a beautiful handwriting, you know. So you could have some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere. I'm about that. I I love atmosphere. Your mind already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be wonderful, Yuri. You're, you're a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you both. The one who can, is truly the useless. Uh, don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It'd be prob- uh, probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could also help them out as well. I might be really appreciative of that. Okay, so you could use help. Uh, that's... I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Even if I don't know how to... If you didn't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you to you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a adv- uh, choice, and you wouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. If I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would handle the baking on your own. Bolt may not like to be around if you only make him to be the, a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suitable to be assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyways? Sounds like you have been ex- excuses for Bolt too. What are you saying? It would be extremely, uh, m- uh, I'm trying, miraculous, batonic, I can't say that work. The baking isn't, and baking isn't, what do you think? Guys, guys, just settle down for a moment, and, and I think it's up to Bolt to decide who's contributing to. And besides, he really doesn't ha- have gotten the choice to spend any time with me yet. You know, I'm sure he's uh, interested in, you're literally, he literally just said, I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry, I'm just saying though. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Bolt, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Of course. In that case... Huh. I have more choices in this one than I remember. I might re- return for this one. Oh... Shiitake, I was supposed to save there. Ooh. Baking is a lot of fun. I definitely agree. Just a minute ago you were saying that. That's just because... Never mind, okay? Well, anyway. You'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it after all. That's... Good? Um... So that's everything, alright? Anything else we need to talk about? No, I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yes. Every, every, everything except for the porn performance is going to be awesome. I don't think that really counts. What about you both? Me, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it all turns out. Um, it's good enough for me. What about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still skulking. It's not, I mean, it's not the big deal or anything. Well, I might not just that. I think that Yuri must be feeling a little underappreciated in general. Having to come up with something for her to do and then nobody offering to help. That doesn't mean... Look, Yuri, you really are the most talented one here and you're going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help a little, a lot too, but you're going to make the atmosphere special. That's a really important for, for the way that people feel under the performances. So, you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a, little, a lot more credit. You didn't really mean that, did you? Not really, but...
I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. And if all of us are going to make it a really great event. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna... That was so, so I, I'm believing this is new stuff for Plus because a lot of this thing I don't remember. Um, where are you going? We still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. You literally wouldn't gotten home and realized that you didn't even have a way to contact me. Oh, that's true. I have no idea. That slips my mind. Good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? You better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? Okay, I'm coming over on Saturday. I'll give you all the ingredients. Wait, you're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I was just afraid that I'm the one helping out, so I would come to your house. Yeah, right. I like I have I could have a guy over to my house. My dad would kill me. Really? That's kind of strict, if you ask me. How do you think I feel? I can't do anything when my dad is home. Anyways, I just needed to complain for a second. Wait. We have each other's numbers now. All I need from you, I'll text you when I'm coming over. All right, fine by me. I'm going to show you why I love baking so much. So you'd better look forward to it. Oh, don't you say you were just going to give me the dirty word? Well, I just was just saying that. It's not like I could act like in front of everyone. I was just looking forward to it. Like, really? Well, kind of. Just because I'm not going to bake with someone else before. That's all it is, so... Alright, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading over out now. See you on Sunday. Never mind. Okay, so we're going to save it here real quick, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.